Hey guys, it's Anthony Whatever back with another video, and I'm here to react to Emma Chamberlain's newest video, which is Coachella at Home. Since Coachella was canceled because of COVID-19, she's gonna do something for Coachella at home, so something creative, I'm sure. Her videos are really cool and funny, so we're gonna see what goes on here. If you're new here, please subscribe, put in bell notifications when I post new videos. Upload schedules Friday, Saturday, Sunday, either spread out throughout the weekend, uh, throughout those three days, or on one specific day um or a couple you know it, it's it's in between that time period i will post videos and for during the week it'll be random if i have time because i'm in college i might not have time to post videos during a week like i used to be able to when i for some reason when i was in person i was able to do it more than i am able to do it now but anyway yeah we're gonna uh it'll be random so i suggest putting bell notifications so anyway let's just get right into this video we need to address the elephant in the room Okay. The elephant in the room, I want you to guess. Coachella was canceled. Yeah. Which is okay because it had to be canceled and I understand. But I'm a huge fan of Coachella. I love Coachella. I actually hate it. I hate it a lot, but I also <laughs> kind of love it. I thought, you know what, in the, in the spirit of day three of Coachella, why not throw my own little Coachella at my house? Sure. Normally I would spend like literally months picking out an outfit, but because obviously I just decided I'm making this video today, I did not have time to prepare, so we're gonna pick something out in my own closet. Here are my two pant options. Um, I love this cool, like, acid wash type of skirt. The only problem is, is that it doesn't have a button, but that could easily be fixed quickly with um, a simple... Solution. ...belt. And then I have these pants that are kind of cool. Uh, cause although it's hot at Coachella, I tend to wear pants anyways. So those are my two pant options. Let's take a look at our tops here. Picking out Coachella outfits is one of my hobbies. If people would let me pick out their Coachella outfits, I would do it for free. Uh, it's like nice. one of my I, I just love it. There's something so satisfying about picking out a Coachella outfit. When I just burped just now, it hurt my chest. I'm thinking this top could work with this skirt because the skirt has a little red detail on the back. Red uh, top with that, add some accessories, sure. that could be a vibe. Would I actually ever wear this outfit to Coachella? No, but it'll work for my home Emma Coachella Trump. because my home Coachella is casual, you know? The thing that's hard about Coachella too is that you wanna go hard, like you wanna go crazy. So that's why I'm struggling because now everything in my closet's like so normal. <laughs> you also wanna be half naked at Coachella and that is always a challenge. Uh, oh what? my God, I just found the most Coachella, no, I don't like this, Never mind. Yep, speed up. This red belt, I don't know if this fits properly. This skirt with the red belt. Let's see I guess if the red belt even it'd go fits with, inside yeah. of it. Yes, it does. Oh. No, it doesn't. Does this, oh no, this belt fits. Okay. Why is Coachella such a big deal to me? That's the question. That's what's upsetting about it all. This skirt with this belt with the red top. I think it could be kind of cute to add a little white headband, uh, like here. I don't know. Does that make sense? Outfit picked. Now it's time to do our makeup. Normally I would fake tan, but fake tan makes me break out and I'm not in the mood to break out anymore. <laughs> Cause like I'm not actually going in public. So like what's the point of like breaking out for no reason? That just seems like a recipe for disaster. Welcome back to Emma doing her makeup, even though she doesn't know how. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> go a little bit crazy right now and I'm gonna put on foundation. Yes. I know. Foundation is good for Coachella because it lasts all day. That's not my color. Everything's too yellow for me. Like I have more of a pink undertone, I think. Uh, I don't know how uh, shit works. <laughs> when Coachella happens in October, I kind of feel like I'm gonna be lazy and I'm just gonna wear pajamas. Wow, that foundation actually looks pretty good. Probably looks bad on camera because that's usually how that works. I usually like make literal fucking PowerPoint presentations to plan my Coachella <laughs> outfits. I do that every really? year and I don't know why, but I do. And I literally okay. spend so much time making presentations so I can show my friends and family and ask for their opinions and also organize everything. There's like a reason, but it's just dumb. <laughs> I have extra foundation. What do I do with it? Uh, do I eat it? No. I could, but I won't. Like for the entire first few months of the year, I'm just thinking about Coachella. That's a lot of Coachella. And I'm aware how dumb it is. Like, at least I'm aware. It's not like I'm like blind to the fact that like that's stupid. But am I alone? No. While I'm doing my makeup, I actually thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about my past Coachella outfits. So we're gonna be reacting to my outfits from last year first. So 
Okay, the thing is, I like my pants a lot. I love my pants. I love all the drawings on them. I love the little pink detail at the bottom. I love the pants. But the rest of the outfit, I actually hate with every bone in my body. And I don't know what I was thinking and I don't know why I did what I did. And like, I have a lot of questions. I don't like the top. I think the top's really ugly. I do like my hair though. I did these cute little like circle I guess she got things, a tan. Like these there. little circle hair ties. The shirt just bothers me. The shoes like are just not it. Moving on, I actually really like this outfit still. I mean like, would I wear it now? No. <laughs> I do love the pants. The pants are amazing and the boots are amazing. Like waist down, I love it. I'm not really like, I don't really like the bra and I don't really like the necklace. I actually like the glasses and I like the hoops, of course. <coughs> last but not least is my day three outfit for last year. I actually really like this outfit. I would still wear this to this day. This is what I did with this outfit. I took old Air Force Ones and I took some denim shorts and I painted them to match the top oh, and I okay. just like that I did something creative. I yeah, think that's good that's for me. Moving on to the year before last year, so 2018. I actually like my skirt. My skirt was really cute, although I don't really like the belt because it's just like, I don't know, I just don't like it. I actually think though, considering that it was my first year at Coachella, I don't hate it. I just feel that back then I just really had no idea what I was doing. Like I have more of a sense of style now in my own mind. So I feel like what I, what am I getting at? I have no idea. Can I just shut up? Next was my day two outfit. It like kind of worked in its own way, but there was just some mistakes. Like I think the weird white dots above my yeah, eyebrows was ugly was... and the and the glasses were tragic and like glasses are okay it was just kind of boring like it wasn't really coachella vibes in my opinion but it was still kind of cute in its own way that would have been a great fourth of july outfit i should have saved it for fourth of july i just oh yeah I the colors are there worn I see it for that. coachella i should have saved it that's what i've learned the from colors... that photo moving on to our last coachella outfit which was my day three coachella outfit and it was this this outfit is cute, but like also again, just really boring in my opinion. Oh my God, I look so dumb. <laughs> Why do I look so stupid? Whenever I try to branch out of my normal makeup routine, like nothing good ever comes of it. I've learned that the hard way, but yet I still try. What? <laughs> Why? The face tracker. Like this brush, not meant for this. That's honestly good enough for <laughs> me. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. I don't. I'm stopping that. Should I put on fake eyelashes? I say this every time I do my makeup and then I never actually do them. I can't <laughs> find my highlight brush, so I will be using this random brush that no, is not meant for Declan. Highlight. Can you stop, please? I would really appreciate is that, it if you stop. No, would that's stop. not Declan. She's trying to rip my clothes down. I feel like kind of a little bitch when I talk about Coachella. That's like, it makes me just feel like such a little new cat. bitch. That's <laughs> the only word I can use to describe it. Like, I feel just so dumb. It smells like a fart in this room and I didn't fart, so who was it? <laughs> Was it one of you guys? Oh, do you know why? Because the litter box is right over there. Uh, and I heard little Frankie in there. Oh my God, look how bad that looks. <laughs> Imagine being as bad at makeup as me. I kind of take the cake. Unless I'm doing my daily makeup routine, then I usually Frankie? do a pretty decent job. But otherwise, it's just really bad. Maybe I need like eyeliner. Although for me, anytime I like try to add Cat. things, like I'll always be like, oh, maybe if I add this or add this to my makeup, look, it'll be better. And then whenever I start adding things, it just gets progressively worse. Oh, that actually kind of looks looked good. I kind of did a good job. Oh, shit. Ah, oh my god. Eye. Why did that eye turn out so bad? One time when I was using an eyelash curler and I ripped out uh, some of my eyelashes and they never grew back. It oh, doesn't I really can tell matter. her eyes it already. Really bother me, but I just thought I'd share kind that of story. Red. I just put on a lot of mascara. Makeup is done. I look like shit. You know what? I tried something new. It didn't work out. It's cool. I learned for the next time. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Body glitter. This is a crucial is Coachella it? edition. These like crazy is glitter it? things. I don't like to do too much crazy glitter and stuff just because that's not my not my style, but I do like to do a little bit because I think it's I, fun. I okay, I added too much, but I'm just gonna own it. Oh my god, how cute. It's like freckles, but glittery. I also will add glitter to my shoulders. Why don't we do that? Glitter. See? Later. All right, makeup is done. Okay, now I'm gonna get changed into my outfit. Okay, maybe my makeup isn't so bad. It kind of looks good yeah. at this angle. Here's my outfit now. Let's get changed. I hate this skirt. I'm changing my pants. Beer be while I change my pants and then we'll be back because this outfit fucking, I don't like it. Okay. I don't like it. 
Okay, actually, this outfit's better. I'm not thrilled about it. And home this chella. is home chella. There's not as many rules. Um, and I can kind of wear whatever I want because nobody's going to see it. I actually wore these shoes to Coachella last year. It works. Now let's start what the is, festival, baby. What is the festival? We're ready. We did all the prep. It's time to go to what day is, one. Day one of Coachella, is, be like. I need what are you doing, Coach? a wristband. Because you can't get into Coachella without a wristband. So I'm going to get my wristband. The Coachella <laughs> wristband is purple this year. Coachella. That's... Perfect. Sure. There we go. I think we're ready for, for day one now. Finally. I think we're finally ready for day one. I thought we were ready now. like five minutes ago, but now we're ready. I'll see you guys at the festival. <laughs> guys, I just made it to Coachella. So let me show you guys around. Right here, it's the VIP area. Boy. So you have to have a VIP wristband to get in there. Over in this area is general admission. Anybody can go over there. Then we have the main stage, which is right here. As you can see, there's a whole DJ set up oh here for God. whenever the DJ shows up. So that's gonna be fucking crazy. In here, we have the food truck section. Oh, they have food so trucks. So there's all of this. And yeah, so super excited. Um, I've already walked a lot today. My feet are hurting pretty bad and pretty tired, so. But I'm gonna see my favorite artist soon at the Who? main stage, which again, Who? is uh, right here. I feel like the show's gonna be amazing and I can't wait. See you guys when my favorite artists start playing. Coachella's amazing. This is a fun <laughs> role play we have going. It's like a little oh, POV. God, POV, I'm at Coachella. POV, look at all this glitter on my face. TikTok. Look at my wristband. Wait, wow, I kind of am like capturing the vibe right thumbnail. now. Right <laughs> yep, that was a thumbnail. Who's that taking the video? Is that her friend? I'm assuming that's her friend. <laughs> they went over, dude. In conclusion, um, Coachella is irreplaceable. It is not as fun at home. I'm excited for Coachella in October because that just didn't really satisfy me. Hopefully I don't break out from all of the makeup I just put on my face. But anyway, you know what? That just made me appreciate Coachella and music festivals and things like that that nice. much more. It is not harmful to okay. hate something sometimes. Sometimes hating something makes you appreciate something else. And that is the lesson, that is the lesson. of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy, obviously, but I might as well say it. I look psychotic right now. That's a sad reality. But anyway, I love you all. And keep it real. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that reaction. And as she had said, I hope you guys are staying safe. You're staying healthy. Of course, stay, of course, obviously staying inside. And yeah, you guys are awesome. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and put on bell notifications. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.